Right, what's going on guys, Willis Gaming here, we are back again with another Destiny video. In this video guys, I'll be showing you how to get the Outbreak Prime, the new pulse rifle, the exotic pulse rifle from the Wrath of the Machine raid. This is going to take you a while to get longer than the sleeper simulant, way way longer than the sleeper simulant. So drop a like if you guys enjoy the video and it helps you out and I'll try and explain this to the best of my abilities because I know some of these steps are really really difficult to understand. But let's get into the basics of what you'll need first of all for later. This isn't for now but you'll need a team of a titan, a warlock and a hunter. So make sure if you are doing this with friends, one of them is a titan, one of them is a warlock and one of them is a hunter and you're actually going to need to complete the raid twice not to get the required steps just you need to do it while we are doing the quest one of them basically picks up the quest and the other one completes it by completing the second one so two raid completions in one day if you're capable of that if not wait until you're a higher light and then come back to this video okay so first of all on your first raid completion with your full fire team preferably two warlocks two titans and two hunters this would be the optimal way to do this because then these two teams can break off into two teams to do the other part of the quest which I'll get into now. So on your first raid completion when you are going through make sure you activate all of the monitors. If you don't know where all the monitors are when you're going through the raid I will leave a link in the video description that shows where all the monitors are. You need to activate every single monitor. Monitor 1, monitor 2, monitor 3, monitor 4 and monitor 5. So. The tricky part here is activating the fourth monitor, the one before Axis. The one that basically was a mystery and required a few steps to actually get it activated. So it revolves around being in the server room. So what you want to do is you want to clear out the server room so there are no enemies in the server room. Once you have done this you are free to work. Right, four of your fire team need to go into the big room with the diamond and then the other two need to stay in the server room. At opposite ends of the corridor there will be two monitors. You need to get one of your fire team members at one of them and another one at the other one. The other four members which is in the cube room they all need to stand by a balcony each. Overlooking the balcony will be some sort of like little miniature platforms kind of like buttons. This step is probably the most difficult out the entire thing. So what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna leave a very very good reddit post in the video description so you can actually solve this honestly it's not that difficult it's just i'm afraid if i explain it wrong it'll just confuse you even more there are professionals who solve this obviously and they know exactly what they're saying it's basically just inputting a code into each of these sections honestly not that hard basically you translate codes to each other relay them back bing bang bong and that's basically it. And when you do the right combination, the pyramid will open, which is freaking cool because it makes a sweet noise. And then in there will be the fourth monitor. Turn the monitor on and collect the chest. If you have not picked up this chest, you'll get a guaranteed exotic engram and you'll get the emblem, the Siva solution. That's pretty much the hardest part of the quest done. So once you're at the last boss and you kill Axis, make sure to finish the raid, obviously. Go to this little hidden room by here where I'm going right now. The laser grid should be deactivated. Activate the monitor which is on the side, that is the fifth monitor. Go inside and collect out of the chest. And here is basically where the exotic quest begins, channeling the corruption. So you'll be given a thing called a Siva engine. So here's what you need to do after this part. Break off into your two teams of a hunter, a warlock and a titan. Make sure you are one of each class otherwise this will not work. And then from here you need to visit Shiro. He'll ask you to complete steps with a Warlock, Titan and a Hunter. The first step is to complete a Nightfall Strike with a Warlock, Hunter and a Titan. The next is to do three public events in the Plaguelands with a Warlock, Hunter and a Titan. The next step after that is to get Crucible Matches or Heroic Strikes completed as a three. And then the last step after that is to get kills with a Pulse Rifle. You need 50 kills, whether it be in Crucible or PvE. Once you have done all that as a group, it will be completed. So after you've done all the Nightfalls, the Archon's Forge and the Pulse Rifle kills, you basically need to enter in a certain code into your engine so what you need to do is basically if you are a warlock you need to enter in this code here if you're a hunter enter this code if you're a titan enter this code top is number one and the bottom is number three it's pretty much self-explanatory once you have done that a final column will unlock and when all of your fellow guardians in the same party have done this you are able to click on the last slot and it will advance the quest next this is probably the easiest part of the quest you basically just need to explore the plague lands Kill Septics Perfected and do a bunch of Archons Forge. Pretty simple. Now you basically have to return it to the Iron Temple where you have to do another puzzle on your Siva engine charged. Once again, input these codes on screen if you're a Warlock, Titan or a Hunter. 
assuming one is the top and four is the bottom. Once this is complete, go talk to Shiro again. So he will now tell you, unfortunately, you're going to have to complete the raid again for a second time. Nothing fancy, you don't have to do any of the monitors, just kill the bosses. All three bosses need to die. If your fire team of six manages to complete this at the same time, you can basically rejoin these fire teams back together and you can basically all do the quest at the same time. So from here, you're almost done. One last step. This is quite annoying, but basically you need to solve another puzzle on your SIVA engine. I'll leave a link to a converter in the video description. You basically just have to input all of your numbers into the converter and it will find a solution automatically. This is to save you from doing it all yourself because it is really, really complicated. Enter in all the numbers, find a solution, and it will give you a few codes. Try out the codes, and once everybody in your party, once again, the groups of three, Titan, Warlock and Hunter has done this, you are done and you can now head to Shiro and collect your Outbreak Prime. There you go. It drops at 390 light which is freaking awesome. Like what? 390? I'm pretty sure that's pretty high. Just like the Black Spindle dropped that one week when it wasn't meant to drop that high. But oh well we have 390 Outbreak Primes and nobody can stop us. Hopefully I explained that well guys and like I said the most complicated parts is probably the relaying codes in the cube room but like I said I left a very good reddit post in the video description so you guys can go solve that. If you guys would like some more PvP gameplay or like PvE gameplay with the Outbreak Prime, let me know. This thing is really, really stable and it's pretty cool because it sends out like a super Firefly Siva Swarm, which is basically like a freaking Galahorn shot and it kills a bunch of enemies in the area and it just looks freaking badass. I'll have more videos on this weapon coming soon. But for now, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. And remember to subscribe for more daily Destiny videos. This has been Willis Gaming and peace. <laughs>